Welcome, dear viewers, to Trek Tales. Join us on an extraordinary journey to awe-inspiring destinations. From icy plains to lush rainforests, uncover hidden wonders. Witness nature's power, from towering mountains to vast deserts. Immerse in vibrant cultures and encounter fascinating creatures. Like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon. Let the journey begin. Our journey begins on the southeastern coast of Australia, where the rugged cliffs and crashing waves meet the Great Ocean Road. This legendary road trip spans over 140 miles, sculpted by nature over millions of years. The dramatic coastline is a testament to the power of erosion. Known as the Shipwreck Coast, it reminds us of the treacherous waters offshore. Continuing along the Great Ocean Road, we encounter the iconic Twelve Apostles, towering limestone stacks rising from the ocean. The Twelve Apostles, despite their name, originally numbered only nine. These majestic formations have been eroded over millennia by relentless waves. The softer limestone has given way, leaving isolated pillars. The largest towers over 147 feet above sea level. As the sun sets, the Twelve Apostles take on an ethereal glow. The Great Ocean Road offers a glimpse into the rich biodiversity of Australia's southeastern coast. Our journey now takes us to one of the driest places on Earth, the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. Here, beneath the scorching sun, lies a landscape unlike any other. The Atacama is a land of stark beauty, where towering volcanoes cast long shadows across vast salt flats. Rainfall is a rarity in this arid environment. Yet despite these harsh conditions, life finds a way to persist. Specialized plants and animals have adapted to this extreme environment. And in the heart of this seemingly barren landscape, we find an oasis of life, the Atacama Salt Flat. The Atacama's true magic is revealed at night. With its high altitude, dry air, and minimal light pollution, the Atacama boasts some of the clearest skies on Earth. The Milky Way stretches across the sky like a river of diamonds. For astronomers, the Atacama is a paradise. Powerful telescopes peer deep into the cosmos. The Atacama offers a unique window into space. High in the Andes Mountains of Peru lies Machu Picchu. Built in the 15th century, it lay hidden for centuries. Rediscovered in 1911, it offers a glimpse into a lost civilization. Machu Picchu is a marvel of engineering and architecture. The city's terraces, plazas, and temples blend seamlessly with the mountains. Surrounded by peaks and cloud forests, it's a place of breathtaking beauty. It's one of the most important archaeological sites in the world. The true purpose of Machu Picchu remains debated among historians. Some believe it was a royal estate, others a religious center or military outpost. Regardless, Machu Picchu is a powerful reminder of Incan ingenuity. The Incas were masters of agriculture, astronomy, and architecture. Their terraces allowed crop cultivation on steep slopes. The buildings were constructed using ashlar masonry. Stones were cut and fitted without mortar. This technique has withstood the test of time. Today, Machu Picchu stands as a symbol of the Incan Empire's enduring legacy. A Venice, a city unlike any other, appears to float upon the turquoise waters of the Venetian Lagoon, an archipelago of 118 islands connected by canals and bridges. Founded in the 5th century, it rose to prominence as a maritime power. The heart of Venice is the Grand Canal, lined with magnificent palaces. Gondolas glide silently through the canals, transporting visitors and locals alike. Each turn reveals hidden courtyards, charming bridges, and picturesque squares. Its carnival, a riot of color and masks, is world-renowned. Venice is a city that seems to exist outside of time. Its narrow streets transport visitors back to a bygone era. One of the most enchanting aspects of Venice is its architecture. The Rialto Bridge is an iconic symbol of the city. As evening descends, Venice takes on a magical quality. Venice captures the imagination and lingers long in the memory. Deep within the Jordanian desert lies the lost city of Petra. Carved into the rock by the Nabataeans over 2,000 years ago, Petra is a testament to human ingenuity. Visitors traverse the Seek, a narrow gorge flanked by towering sandstone cliffs. As the Seek widens, the treasury, Petra's most iconic monument, emerges into view. Carved into the sandstone cliff face, the treasury is an architectural marvel. Beyond the treasury, Petra continues to astound with its rock-cut tombs and ancient ruins. Petra was once a thriving metropolis, a center of trade and commerce. The Nabataeans controlled the incense route, transporting precious goods from Arabia to the Mediterranean. They carved their city from sandstone cliffs, creating temples, tombs, and dwellings. 
Masters of water management, they developed systems to collect and channel rainwater. Today, Petra is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, its wonders preserved for future generations. Walking through Petra's ancient streets, one can almost hear the whispers of history. The stars emerge, mirroring the countless candles that illuminate the treasury during Petra by night. We journey now to the South Pacific, to the island of Tahiti, the largest of the Society Islands in French Polynesia. Here, volcanic peaks rise dramatically from the ocean floor, their slopes cloaked in lush emerald green rainforests. Tahiti is the very essence of an island paradise. White sand beaches fringe the coastline, lapped by the crystal clear waters of the Pacific Ocean. The air is heavy with the scent of tropical flowers and the sound of gentle waves breaking on the shore. Beneath the surface of the lagoon, a kaleidoscope of marine life thrives. Coral reefs teem with colorful fish, while graceful rays glide through the water. It's a world of vibrant beauty, both above and below the waves. Tahiti is a place to escape the hustle and bustle of modern life. The Polynesian people have a deep connection to the ocean. Outrigger canoes have been used for centuries for fishing and transportation. Music and dance are integral parts of Polynesian life. The rhythmic beat of drums tells stories of ancient legends. The spirit of Tahiti is a celebration of life and nature. Tahiti welcomes visitors eager to experience its unique blend of beauty and culture. We journey to Banff National Park, a land of soaring peaks and turquoise lakes. Established in 1885, it is Canada's oldest national park. The iconic Canadian Rockies tower above, their summits piercing the clouds. Glacial-fed lakes reflect the azure blue sky. Lake Louise, with its emerald waters, is framed by towering peaks in Victoria Glacier. The park is a paradise for outdoor enthusiasts, offering endless opportunities for hiking, camping, and wildlife watching. Well-maintained trails wind their way through the forests and up into the alpine meadows, offering breathtaking views of the surrounding peaks. The Icefields Parkway, one of the most scenic drives in the world, cuts through the heart of the park, connecting Lake Louise with Jasper National Park to the north. Along the way, it offers stunning vistas of glaciers, waterfalls, and towering rock formations. In winter, Banff National Park transforms into a winter wonderland. The lakes freeze over, creating natural ice skating rinks, while the slopes of the Rockies are blanketed in deep powder snow, perfect for skiing and snowboarding. Banff National Park is a testament to the raw beauty and untamed wilderness of the Canadian Rockies. It's a place where one can reconnect with nature, experience the thrill of adventure, and witness the awe-inspiring power of the natural world. We journey to the northern reaches of China to witness the Great Wall of China. Stretching for thousands of miles, it is a testament to the ingenuity and perseverance of the Chinese people. The Great Wall is a series of fortifications, built and rebuilt over centuries. From the air, the Great Wall resembles a giant dragon snaking its way across the landscape. It is a symbol of China's enduring strength and resilience. The Great Wall is one of China's most popular tourist destinations. Walking along its ancient ramparts is awe-inspiring. The views are breathtaking. To one side, the Mongolian steppe stretches to the horizon. To the other, the fertile plains of China extend far. Reminders of its storied history are everywhere. Inscriptions tell tales of battles and victories. Crumbling ruins bear witness to harsh conditions. The Great Wall is a living monument to the Chinese spirit. Aloha and welcome to Maui, the Valley Isle. The Pacific Ocean crashes against volcanic rocks, sculpting a landscape of dramatic beauty. Lush rainforests cloak the slopes of dormant volcanoes. Maui is an island of contrasts. Black sand beaches meet turquoise waters teeming with life. Humpback whales breach offshore, dwarfing surfers. Inland, the dormant volcano Haleakala dominates. As the sun sets, it paints the sky in hues of orange, pink, and violet. The spirit of aloha is palpable throughout Maui. It's a sense of welcome, a deep respect for nature, and a connection to the land and its people. This spirit is embodied in the island's lush rainforests, home to a dazzling array of flora and fauna found nowhere else on Earth. 
Here, vibrant hibiscus flowers bloom in a kaleidoscope of colors, their delicate petals unfurling under the warm Hawaiian sun. The air is alive with the sound of exotic birdsong, their melodies echoing through the dense foliage. From the verdant slopes of the West Maui Mountains to the windswept shores of Hana, Maui's landscapes are a testament to the power of nature. Whether you're exploring the volcanic craters, hiking through bamboo forests, or simply relaxing on a pristine beach, Maui offers a sensory experience unlike any other. So, come, immerse yourself in the beauty of Maui and discover why it is truly a paradise on Earth. Few places on Earth embody the raw power and majesty of the natural world quite like the Maasai Mara. This vast savanna stretches across southwestern Kenya and into Tanzania. The Great Migration sees millions of wildebeest, zebra, and gazelle thunder across the plains. The Mara is home to an astonishing array of wildlife, from elephants to cheetahs. It is a place where life and death are inextricably intertwined. The Maasai Mara is a haven for wildlife and home to the Maasai people. Their red robes and beadwork are common on the savanna. They herd cattle across the plains, living in harmony with nature. As the sun sets, the sky is painted in fiery hues. The wild things roam free, a reminder of nature's supremacy. Rising dramatically from the emerald waters of the English Channel, Mont Saint-Michel stands as a testament to human ambition and nature's power. This tidal island, crowned by a medieval abbey, seems to float on the horizon. Twice a day, the sea rushes in, cutting the island off from the mainland. Then, the tide recedes, revealing a causeway. Today, Mont Saint-Michel stands as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. As you cross the causeway and step onto the cobblestone streets of Mont Saint-Michel, you are transported back in time. The narrow winding lanes are lined with medieval houses, their granite walls bearing witness to centuries of history. The air is filled with the scent of freshly baked bread and the sound of seagulls wheeling overhead. Pilgrims and tourists alike wander the streets, their voices echoing off the ancient stone walls. At the heart of the island rises the abbey, its spire piercing the sky. Inside, you'll find a masterpiece of Gothic architecture with soaring arches, intricate carvings, and breathtaking views of the surrounding bay. Mont Saint-Michel is a place of pilgrimage, a place of history, and a place of breathtaking beauty. It is a reminder that even in the face of nature's raw power, human ingenuity and faith can create something truly extraordinary. The Sahara Desert, the world's largest hot desert, stretches across North Africa like an ocean of sand. Its sheer scale is almost incomprehensible. Here, beneath the relentless sun, lies a land of extremes. As the sun dips below the horizon, a dramatic transformation takes place. The air cools rapidly and a blanket of stars emerges. Despite its harsh conditions, the Sahara is not devoid of life. We might catch a glimpse of a fennec fox, its oversized ears helping it to radiate heat. Scattered throughout this barren landscape are oases, islands of life in a sea of sand. These water sources support a surprising diversity of flora and fauna. Date palm trees offer welcome shade from the scorching sun. Beneath their canopy, fruit trees and grasses provide sustenance for animals. Birdsong fills the air as migrating species rest and refuel. Oases are centers of culture and trade for people. Nomadic tribes traverse the Sahara, their lives linked to the desert. Nestled along the coast of the South China Sea lies Hoi An, a town seemingly untouched by the passage of time. Once a bustling international port, Hoi An today stands as a remarkably well-preserved example of a Southeast Asian trading port from the 15th to 19th centuries. Its narrow streets, lined with brightly painted merchant houses, evoke a sense of wonder and nostalgia. The architecture reflects a unique blend of indigenous and foreign influences, with Chinese, Japanese, and European elements seamlessly interwoven. One cannot speak of Hoi An without mentioning its iconic lanterns. These colorful silk creations, hung from shop fronts and strung across streets, illuminate the town after dark, casting an ethereal glow over its ancient walls. Each lantern tells a story, its intricate designs and vibrant hues reflecting the rich cultural heritage of this enchanting town. As we wander through Hoi An's labyrinthine alleys, we are transported back in time, 
immersed in a world of merchants, artisans, and seafarers. Hoi An's charm lies in its well-preserved architecture and vibrant cultural tapestry. For centuries, this port town welcomed traders and travelers, each leaving their mark. Chinese traders' influence is seen in the ornate temples and guild halls. The Japanese covered bridge symbolizes Hoi An's multicultural past. Today, Hoi An is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, celebrated worldwide. The town buzzes with life, filled with the sights, sounds, and aromas of Vietnam. Rome, the eternal city, stands as a testament to the grandeur and enduring legacy of one of history's most influential civilizations. Founded over two and a half millennia ago, Rome has witnessed the rise and fall of empires. From the Roman Forum to the Colosseum, the city is an open-air museum. But Rome is not merely a city of the past. It is a vibrant, living metropolis with bustling piazzas and charming trattorias. Rome is a city that nourishes the soul, its artistic and architectural treasures inspiring awe and wonder. From the masterpieces of Michelangelo in the Sistine Chapel to the Baroque grandeur of St. Peter's Basilica, the city is an art lover's paradise. The Vatican City, an independent city-state within Rome and the spiritual center of the Catholic Church, is home to some of the world's most precious religious artifacts and works of art. Here, faith and art intertwine to create an atmosphere of profound spirituality. But Rome's beauty extends beyond its grand monuments and museums. It can be found in the simple pleasures of life, sipping espresso in a sun-drenched piazza, enjoying a scoop of gelato by the Trevi Fountain, or watching the sunset over the Tiber River. Rome is a city that seduces the senses, captivates the imagination, and leaves an indelible mark on the soul. It is a city that truly deserves its moniker, the Eternal City. The Norwegian Fjords, a land sculpted by the relentless forces of nature over millions of years. These deep seawater inlets carved by ancient glaciers reach far inland, their sheer cliffs towering over the water. The fjords are a testament to the power of ice. As the glaciers slowly retreated, they left behind a landscape unlike any other. Jagged peaks pierced the sky, their slopes cloaked in emerald green forests. Waterfalls cascade down the mountainsides, their thunderous roar echoing through the valleys. The air is clean and crisp, carrying with it the scent of pine and salt spray. This is a place of raw, untamed beauty, where the elements have created a masterpiece of nature. Despite their harsh conditions, the fjords teem with life. In the depths of the water, fish thrive in the cold, clear water, providing a vital food source for the local communities. Above the surface, seabirds soar through the air. Gulls wheel overhead, their cries mixing with the sound of the wind. On the cliffs, puffins nest in their burrows, their colorful beaks a cheerful sight. And in the forests, deer and other wildlife roam freely, their presence a reminder that even in this seemingly inhospitable environment, life finds a way. The Norwegian fjords are a place of contrasts, of dramatic beauty and serene tranquility, a place that will leave you breathless with awe. Prague, a city steeped in history, its skyline a captivating tapestry of towers and spires, each one whispering tales of a bygone era. This is a city that has witnessed empires rise and fall, its cobblestone streets echoing with the footsteps of generations past. At the heart of Prague lies the Old Town Square, a bustling hub of activity where time seems to stand still. Here, medieval astronomical clocks tick off the hours, their intricate mechanisms a testament to the ingenuity of a bygone era. Gothic cathedrals, their spires reaching towards the heavens, stand as enduring symbols of faith. The Charles Bridge, adorned with statues of saints, connects the old and the new, a timeless masterpiece of engineering. Prague is a city that invites exploration, its narrow, winding streets leading to hidden courtyards and charming cafes. Prague's cultural heritage is as rich and varied as its architecture. From classical music concerts in grand concert halls to lively jazz clubs tucked away in underground cellars, the city pulsates with creativity. 
The works of Czech masters like Kafka and Dvorak continue to inspire and captivate, their legacies woven into the fabric of the city. And in the countless pubs and beer gardens, locals and visitors alike gather to savor the city's renowned brews. Prague is a city of contrasts, where ancient history and modern life coexist in perfect harmony. It is a city that will capture your heart and leave you longing to return. Kyoto, the ancient capital of Japan, a city where time seems to flow at a different pace, where ancient traditions are woven into the fabric of everyday life. Here, amidst the bustling modernity of contemporary Japan, lies a city steeped in history and tradition. For over a thousand years, Kyoto served as the imperial capital, and its legacy as a center of culture and spirituality is evident everywhere you look. Majestic temples, their wooden beams blackened by time, stand as silent guardians of a rich cultural heritage. Serene gardens, meticulously designed to evoke peace and tranquility, offer sanctuary from the bustling city. The gentle rustle of leaves, the soft murmur of a water feature, the delicate scent of cherry blossoms, these are the sounds and sensations of Kyoto. Kyoto is a city that beckons you to slow down, to savor the moment, to appreciate the beauty of simplicity. In Kyoto, tradition is not merely preserved, it is lived. Geishas, their faces delicately painted, glide through the ancient Gion district, their every movement an embodiment of grace and elegance. The art of the tea ceremony, a ritualized celebration of hospitality, is elevated to an art form, each gesture imbued with meaning. And in the city's many traditional workshops, artisans continue to practice ancient crafts, their skills passed down through generations. Kyoto is a city that nourishes the soul, a place where ancient traditions and modern life coexist in harmonious balance. It is a city that will stay with you long after you've bid it farewell, its beauty lingering in your heart like the delicate fragrance of incense. From the air, it shimmers, a turquoise mirage on the surface of the ocean. This is the Great Barrier Reef, the largest living structure on our planet. Stretching over 1,400 miles, this intricate network of coral reefs is home to a dazzling array of life. Dive beneath the waves, and you enter a world of vibrant color and ceaseless activity. Though they cover less than 1% of the ocean floor, they support 25% of all marine species. Sharks patrol the reefs, and sea turtles return to lay their eggs. The Great Barrier Reef is not just a feast for the eyes. The beauty of the reef belies its fragility. Climate change poses the biggest threat. Rising temperatures cause coral bleaching, turning it ghostly white. Pollution from development and plastic waste threatens the reef. Despite challenges, hope remains. Scientists and communities work tirelessly to protect this wonder. The future of this paradise hangs in the balance. A beacon of human ambition, a testament to our relentless drive to reach for the sky. This is New York City, a concrete jungle where dreams are made of. From the moment you arrive, you are swept up in its frenetic energy. Look up, and you'll be greeted by a skyline unlike any other. The Empire State Building, the Chrysler Building, One World Trade Center. But New York is more than just its towering skyscrapers. It's a melting pot of cultures, a vibrant tapestry woven from countless nationalities. Walk its streets and you'll encounter a kaleidoscope of humanity. This is a city that thrives on its diversity, a place where people come to chase their dreams. Amidst the urban sprawl, a green oasis offers respite from the city's relentless pace. Central Park, a sprawling 843-acre rectangle of nature, provides a welcome escape. Stroll through leafy paths, relax by the Bethesda Fountain, or lie on the grass. New York is a city that never sleeps, a place of constant motion and reinvention. It's a city that can be overwhelming and exhilarating, exhausting and inspiring all at once. Shrouded in mist, the silhouette of ancient temples emerges from the Cambodian jungle. This is Angkor Wat, a testament to the power and artistry of the Khmer Empire. Angkor Wat, meaning city of temples, is the largest religious monument in the world. Its towering spires and intricate carvings evoke a sense of awe and wonder. Wander through its corridors to encounter bas reliefs depicting Hindu mythology. The central tower represents Mount Meru, the sacred mountain in Hindu mythology. Angkor Wat was just one part of a much larger city, Angkor, the capital of the Khmer Empire. 
At its peak, Angkor was a bustling metropolis, home to over a million people. It had a sophisticated irrigation system supporting vast rice paddies. By the 15th century, Angkor was abandoned, its temples consumed by the jungle. Today, Angkor Wat remains a place of deep spiritual significance. Buddhist monks meditate in its ancient halls, their chants echoing through the courtyards. Visiting Angkor Wat is a humbling experience, connecting us to a rich history. From the soaring Atlas Mountains to the vast Sahara Desert, Morocco is a land of breathtaking contrasts. Nestled at the heart of this captivating country lies Marrakesh, a city steeped in history and vibrancy. Known as the Red City for its ochre-hued buildings, Marrakesh is a sensory feast. The ancient Medina, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a labyrinth of narrow alleys and bustling souks. The heart of the Medina is the Jama El Fna, a square that comes alive at dusk. As the sun sets, casting long shadows across the ancient city walls, we witness the magic of Marrakesh. Beyond the bustling souks, Marrakesh offers tranquil havens of peace and beauty. The Bahia Palace, a masterpiece of Moroccan architecture, stands as a testament to the city's rich heritage. The Majorelle Gardens, created by Jacques Majorel, are a botanical paradise. Vivid blue buildings contrast beautifully with the vibrant flora. Marrakesh is a city of contrasts, where the energy of the souks meets the tranquility of its palaces and gardens. Along the sun-kissed shores of southern Italy lies the Amalfi Coast, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This coastline, dotted with pastel-colored villages, is a masterpiece of natural beauty. Our journey begins in Amalfi, a historic town with grand architecture. The magnificent Duomo showcases Amalfi's rich past. We wind along the serpentine coastal road, revealing breathtaking vistas. Terraced vineyards produce the region's renowned wines. The air is filled with the scent of lemons. Positano, a picture postcard town, tumbles down the hillside. Each village along the Amalfi coast has its own unique charm. Ravello offers breathtaking views of the coastline. Villa Rufolo has enchanted artists and writers for centuries. Local specialties tantalize the taste buds. As the sun sets, we are drawn to the piazzas. Locals gather to share stories and watch the world go by. The Amalfi Coast blends natural beauty with village charm. I. From the rugged coastlines of Australia to the bustling souks of Marrakesh, from the ancient ruins of Machu Picchu to the serene canals of Venice, our journey has taken us to some of the most captivating corners of our planet. We've witnessed the awe-inspiring power of nature, the ingenuity of human creation, and the rich tapestry of cultures that color our world. These destinations are more than just places on a map, they are windows into the soul of our planet, reminding us of the beauty, diversity, and wonder that surrounds us. They inspire us to explore, to learn, and to protect the precious treasures of our Earth. Thank you for joining us on this adventure to the 22 most beautiful places on Earth. We hope these stunning landscapes and vibrant cultures have ignited your wanderlust. 